up, Nick. You can be up, Nick. We are more than culture. 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 We are more than culture. More than culture. More than culture is the brand. It's the more than culture show. Come on, the secret genius. My boy. Tyler Chronicles. Funny Jordan. Yes, sir. We here, man. We got a call. We got a call. You from put it together, big dog. Man, I'm trying to get my on, executive man. loan. You know, you know what I'm saying? Put it together, big dog. To, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Follow up. Get us yes. canceled. We trying Let's to do get it. canceled. That's, <laughs> that's our deal. Cause I got this. That's what we on. I was on the live and he was on. I said, dang, they done banned RZA off of uh, Peloton. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, that's funny as hell. Like, he responded. Yeah, that, was, that was hilarious. Yeah, he can't man. Get on that. He can't get on nothing. They took, he off the gas station pumping everything. They can't even. He put, he put his car there. They said, like, nah, bro. You that's go. crazy. Right, they do right. this car like they gone to the other gas station. <laughs> we got the world renowned. We got the multi band. We got the I'm black. Multi-band. Yeah, he's multi band. Yes. <laughs> we, got, <laughs> we got the black revolutionary. Rizza Islam is in the culture. Oh. Yeah. Time to get offended, bitches. <laughs> How you doing, brother? Oh, I'm well, brother. It's always good to see my family. Yeah, man. So born and raised in Compton. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm from Inglewood, man. That's oh, what I said on. one yes, time sir. for right the right West Side. You okay, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, let's let's start there, man. Like, yes, sir. Right. You know, coming up in the in, in the in the gang culture. I'm. Mm-hmm. I don't know how old you are, but I'm assuming you came up in the late '90s. That's a fact. There we go. Come on. Years old. Oh, there it is. So, oh, yes. He's oh, he's a, a you already know. So you from Bompton? Come on. Oh, see, I'm older than you. Yeah, they called it Compton. I was like, ooh. So you you went to the ten? Uh yeah. Okay, yeah, all right, yeah. cool. That's right. That's yeah, people, people say centennial, some people don't, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, man, that's yeah. what's up. So Compton, what I guess what got you uh your inner nation of Islam? Yes, was sir. that that's mm-hmm. a family thing or just something that you decided to do? Uh, it's actually both. It's both. Okay. So family, I started, you know, praying Arabic and all of that when I was younger. Okay. About the age of two, three, four, five. And really? And circled back later on to my early 20s when I became heavily active. But I'm the youngest of 10 children, five boys, five girls. Uh, Bloods and Crips, all that was in the family. That was regular, like you yeah. said. We grew up in it. Um, and I grew up in the farms, so the farm dog area. That's kind mm-hmm. of ripped by Nutty Block and Spooktown, all that, you know, that area. Mm-hmm. But I wasn't heavily active until, like I said, my late 20s. And then that's when, you know, more so on the mission, et cetera, helping the people. Got you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you said active for a second. I was like, hold on. Yeah, you was like, oh, right. Right. <laughs> said, what? He be going to talking to me. Yeah. 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 Right, 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 right. He be active in the like, community for real. Right, I was right, like, they be right. cripping in the mud. Oh, <laughs> man. <come laughs> but the, 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 the origin of the gangs was for what kind of what he has going on now mm-hmm. in terms of, you know, looking out for the community, community protection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Originally. Yeah. Police was shooting us. Yeah, they still be doing. Like, yeah, like it's still happening. Yeah, they shoot us in the face a lot. Yeah, man. So, so. Did you get the booster? Hilarious, <laughs> boy! That's so funny. <laughs> Let's well, go there. You canceled for real. Yeah. It's fighting words, brother. <laughs> Let's go there. So, okay. So, oh, I love this. So you, so you sit, you sitting wherever you sitting at you in the, in the, in the crib or whatever, mm-hmm. and you, you seeing this go on. Did you have an inkling of like, okay, this is happening, or mm-hmm. did it catch you off guard too? I'm talking about the pandemic. Oh no, the pandemic. No, I, I knew this was going to happen when I went into the CDC, and they talked about it being a hypothetical circumstance back in hold the on, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa! Yeah, you said on. you want to cancel. Now you, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I ain't <laughs> saying hold on. So you don't say. I need you to say slow it down. Yeah, yeah. clarify. Okay, I, okay. Oh, you yeah, know, I talk like this in real life. So yeah, let me. Let yeah, me yeah. Talk. No, I need everybody to know. Twenty nineteen, you at the CDC? Okay, yes, okay talk about that. I actually protested in front of the CDC multiple times before twenty nineteen, but twenty nineteen, I was invited inside of the CDC. Uh, They have a national meeting where they go over the hypothetical circumstances, pandemic preparedness, you name it. Uh, And I was invited into that meeting. They didn't know because I didn't put my name, just Uh so y'all can understand how real this is. Um, Once we got in, they were doing a PowerPoint presentation. Around 320 people were there. Less than five people were black. Mm -hmm. So you can understand how underrepresented we were. That's number one. Number two, they were going over hypothetical circumstances of a potential outbreak understand how they talk. They were going over anthrax. They went over quarantining people in certain areas. This area here, zone this, zone uh-huh. that, all of this. I was right there watching it. I was in the room. And I said, huh, this is quite interesting. I understand being prepared is one thing, but yeah. you're too accurate in what you are saying. And I'm, I'm listening to what they're saying. And also, there was something called Healthy People 2020 Guidelines. And in those Healthy People 2020 guidelines that were released in roughly 2016, they kept you know, adding additional things to them. They were talking about this. They were talking about shots that need to come out to handle pandemics, et cetera, et cetera. 
All of this was already written, yeah. so it's not a, it's not an accident. So I already knew what was going to happen. I was telling people about Healthy People 2020 so that they could get their exemption forms back then. Mm -hmm. So if you had children in school, they wouldn't have to take the shots. So if you wanted to secure your job or keep your job, you wouldn't get fired. All of this I've been telling people about since roughly 2015, 2016, Dang. to help people, you know, for their livelihood. So mm -hmm. when it happened, the people who knew, they said, "Oh, damn." He been saying this. Yeah, here he it is. Been saying this. So, no, I wasn't surprised at all. And also, that was early 2019. Later in October 2019, you had something that came out called Event 201 with Bill Gates, who also ran a hypothetical circumstance in the case of a pandemic. Yeah, why, is, yeah go, ahead, go, ahead, <laughs> go ahead. Why the fuck is he so involved? <laughs> <laughs> like, why he got the, the key to this country? Yeah, he got Bill, like Gates, been, oh, Bill Gates been he chilling for 70 fob. years, bro. He got 70 keep, years. He got like, a key fob to America. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, what y'all doing down there? He hasn't been chilling. Though. Well, I mean, mm. he's been more. He hasn't been chilling. I shouldn't say that. I bore he joke, been but he's been more publicly outward with his mm. help for us mm -hmm. now. I know he's always been a philanthropist and all that mm. stuff, but now he's more outward, and it's like he's he's he's, he's promoting that he's mm. helping us now. He even used to promote. That's what I mean by chilling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he stepped down off that uh, off the board of Microsoft, mm -hmm. so he didn't have that. Oh, okay. Attachment okay. To protect the company mm -hmm. and okay. protect it. Strategic moves, or to answer your question, the first thing is he is from a long lineage of the eugenics system. So his grandfather and father were part of the American Eugenics Society. Mm -hmm. Eugenics meaning good stock, good genetics. It was created to justify the eradication of anybody who was black, brown, etc., who were not blonde haired, blue eyed. That's point number one. Adolf yes. Hitler learned a lot of that from America, not the other way around. So he came from that lineage. So you have Bill Gates, you have Margaret Sanger, founder of of course, we know Planned Parenthood, who said Negroes are like human weeds and should be exterminated, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So with this mentality, you have in this Caucasian individual by the name of Bill Gates who amassed all of this wealth. And so the number one place that you don't look when it comes to somebody who's attacking humanity is the very organizations that say they are protecting humanity. So if I'm going to commit the most human rights violations, where will I reside? Human rights organizations. Human rights organizations. So he puts up this facade as if he's helping human beings. So through his organization, he donates money. This is what we all have to understand. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation donates billions to the World Health Organization. Mm -hmm. They donate millions to multiple organizations and governmental entities. This is why it seems like he could just walk anywhere and he got clearance in every hood. Yeah. You, know, <laughs> yeah. you know, the, the equivalent. <laughs> like, how did he get clear over here? Yeah, why and is he know, popping up? And why is it that he has no degrees, but he has the largest amount of influence over the medical field? Mm -hmm. right. You're not a doctor, but you have influence over doctors. See, a question, as my brothers, both of you were asking, it has to be answered thoroughly. Why are you listening to someone who has no medical expertise, but yeah. he have influence over the entire medical field and now in the area of agriculture because he is one of the number one landowners in America as well? See, there are layers to this thing. Now, if you want people to speak the truth, you've got to be willing to handle it. Yeah. So the overall understanding and basic, you know, basically where I'm going with this is he is a part of the American eugenics movement still by way of saying we are doing this to help humanity by getting rid of a large Populational part, part of humanity. That's the goal. With the pandemic. Pandemic, which justifies injections of a substance that is not okay. safe nor effective, but that will go towards depopulation overall. So you said the government trying to kill me with cherry Pepsi. <laughs> Being trying to do that. That you cherry Pepsi cherry on your Pepsi. ass. He, he said, you, you, you drink cherry, that's cherry Pepsi. Yeah, that's why. I forgot yeah, they even had cherry. <laughs> that's that should have cleaned your car battery off. That's, that's all I hear. I was like, the government trying to knock me on off this month. That's like somebody saying they drink Dr. Pepper. <laughs> but nah, it's, it's, it's been waves. It's been waves. They act different in the comments. Look. We got Dr. The devil is We are leasing this space, brother. Brother, we're in a journey. That was here when you got here. Yeah, brother. Lease the table and lights. Right, right, right. <laughs> I, just, I was going to ask you about lentils and everything. That was oh, oh, but I mean, that's just like a that's just, this is just like w one wave mm -hmm. of ways that they've been trying to kind of depopulate. Correct? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. No, Especially no, us, man. God, first of all, the shots are See, first of all, why would you convince a group of people who are the number one victims of a specific action to trust that very action from the same group that instituted that action that went towards killing them in the first place? I'm trying to figure this out. How do you convince black people, specifically our people? to trust the very government that said you are three-fifths of a human being, you have less worth than that of a dog, nigga, you can't vote, you can't do this, we don't care about your woman, we don't care about your child. But we will allow you to go into our labor field for free. And you will be a slave, 13th Amendment, right after we let you go, we put you back, etc. You're going to trust this system here. If it was safe and effective, you're telling me you want to help me, but you put the same chemicals in our neighborhoods that add to the pre-existing conditions. So you have genetic, genetic modified foods, you have the poison in the water, poison mm -hmm. in the air, 
fast food with all of those genetically modified chemicals. All of this, and you're saying, we want to help you. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I, I don't know who really has to think twice about this. Right. You see what I'm saying? It, it's because we trust our enemy too much, bro. And it wasn't just them. It was a lot That's of that, us. We got, got that Stockholm when, syndrome. When they got juvenile, Very do, much so. do the Vax That Thing Up song. Vax that uh, thing up. You didn't see that? that? You know I, what I'm it saying. It almost brother. killed me. I, I, I love you, I opened my comedy special with that, that one. Brother. I was like, how the fuck? <laughs> Y'all got juvenile. Y'all don't see this? It's Come on, man. <laughs> juvenile, we love you, brother. But that was, by all intensive measures, according to that word, like Godfrey said, that was very juvenile. It was, <laughs> it was a sign. I was like, that word? Was no, yeah. brother, that was that was terrible. Vax that thing. What was the check like? That, that, what, what, the, what, what, what the bag was That's for the, the vax question. that thing up? That's the right. question. Because even feel right. I mean, I ain't getting vaxed up without. Brother, one of the <laughs> lyrics. <laughs> one of the lyrics the sister said in that song was, "If you want to get sticky and hot, go 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 get the shot." I said, "Okay, this yep. is the corniest yeah. stuff. <laughs> if you want to <laughs> get sticky, if you want to get sticky, and hot. because they were promoting a black <laughs> dating app that's not owned by black people. Uh-huh. Yep. That's a black dating app. Sorry, shout out to." The truth, damn yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Shout out the truth. So what? What is? What's the goal? You know what I'm saying? Like really? To get us to do it. They right. like, what do black people like? Music. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they brother, probably Google no, they what like do black people dance up. to. It back like, that we, ass up. It was a chart. It was like back that ass up, ribs, <laughs> yes. iPhones, Dream, dreams, and white Air Force Ones, uh, Air Black and Miles, White Air Force Ones, <laughs> backwards, my white team. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> With all of that, I'd be interested to get your take on. Why? So a lot of people think that racism is just a, is is uniquely American, no. but why black skin is hated all over this globe? Do you, what's your take on it? Very good question. Well, the first thing is, um, the black men and women are the mother and father of civilization. Period. Mm-hmm. If anyone has an argument with that, I understand. White man told me that. Of course, <laughs> they know. They yeah. know, right? That's why they try to convince us to not know because uh-huh. they know. I want to say that. I mean, those who are evil and wicked at the very top. Um, which, by the way, a lot of white people at the very top don't give a damn about their own family members. Mm, Let's make that very clear. But see that. The, the visual, specifically, I'll say it this way. Dr. Francis Cress Welsing, may, may God be pleased with our sister, one of the greatest psychologists on planet Earth, this black one. She used to have debates on national television with white men who were other psychiatrists, psychologists, etc., about something called the War of Genetic Annihilation. And she used to do lectures at colleges with a black penis in the shape of a gun. Mm. Or a, black, a gun in the shape of a black penis, and she said, "This is the gun that will end the world of the white man." Ooh. I want to make this very clear because your question was very pregnant. So if you don't mind, yeah, do you think? unpack this. <laughs> so she would do lectures going all over the place and said, "This is the gun. This, not the mm. gun that you gave us, not the AK forty-seven, not the semi-automatic. This, no, 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 no. If you really want to understand what will end his rule, it is the seed of the black man. Mm. This is a reminder of the original." It was here before anyone else. It will be here after everybody else is gone. But you have a specific group that does not want that to happen. Yeah. I took this not to give it back. I took this. I didn't borrow this. Mm-hmm. I'll be damned if I see this at the top. I like it when it's at the bottom. I don't want to you know, have to submit to no black authority. I'm not interested in you being my boss, etc. You can entertain me, make me laugh. You already know I love that. Throw a basketball around. We'll give you a little check, etc. But when it comes to having rulership... I'm not interested in that. Sorry. So this mm-hmm. is a reminder to those who have authority by way of taking it that we are coming back to reclaim it. And we're not going to do what they did to us. That is the problem that they have. Some of them. They think we're going to do to them. Yeah, go out violent, y'all. What they did to And it's like that's not our spirit because, to be very oh, frank, if it was, we would have it's killed old. y'all a long time ago. Right. Yeah, bigger, so, stronger, faster. <laughs> See, we would have been killed. We are the yeah. majority on the planet. Mm-hmm. So let's make that very clear. So it's kind of like, no, that's, but that's why it's a global thing. Mm-hmm. And there's racism in every culture, in every area of politics, in every area of life, period. In mm-hmm. science and in, in history, or well, not just history, of course, but in science, in agriculture, when it comes to where they put certain foods, it's in every area because it is a power dynamic. It's not just color, mm-hmm. but the color represents a particular brand of power that they don't want to relinquish. That dick gun. Can I, the dick gun. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, what, that's all they see is a big gun. That's all they remember. That's the only thing. Big gun got the cracker, man, boy. 
Hey, I follow this shit. Uh, excuse me, brother. No, no, I follow no, no. this shit on Twitter, and this is it's a white lady that just be like talking shit about, about white men. Yeah. Like you'll never measure up to the black man, <laughs> you little penis motherfuckers. Like she be going in. I'm like she's gonna get murdered. Yeah, they mad because everybody gonna be mixing a little bit. Everybody gonna be <laughs> everybody gonna be mixed. Yeah. Be, everybody gonna be mixed. You keep mm-hmm. it up. That's real. That, Can I okay. ask you something? So, because look, as an adult, like I grew up Christian. I grew up super Christian. Mm-hmm. It's an adult. Yeah, the on. It's kind of like like Remo. You know how Remo talk about going oh, to church. Yeah. We was at church all the time, and I just mm-hmm. felt like they villainized Muslims to us. Like we was, yes, they was like that Quran and not. And then when I got old, I was like, they regular dudes. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I was like, why did why did they do? Why are we so separate? Like we we told the line for real. Like it's it's really Crips and Bloods. That's a fact. And I'm like, this this my dog right here. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm like, dog. When I was 13, they would have told me you was the devil. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, no. interesting, right? So you know what I'm saying? I'm like, these are black humans. We do this to each other. Like, why yes. do you think that's so deep? Well, the first thing is your enemy will use any avenue by which he can to keep you divided from your people. He gonna use anything. Use a color. Use who got the chain, who don't got the chain. Who got the better car, who don't got the car. Who got the house versus the apartment. Who is a Muslim versus who is a Christian? Let me say this to be very clear. Your enemy used Christianity to conquer you. Why do you call yourself a Christian? That's a question everyone has to think about, number one. Love our Christian family because I grew up in the church to a degree, too, for about eight years. I was a youth deacon in the church, youth minister. So the Bible and the Holy Quran, I studied both of those, right? But they had to figure out a way to keep us divided. So they enslaved you with the Bible, the one that they wrote, the slave Bible literally called the slave Bible. The other one, King James, with roughly six to eight scriptures justifying slavery, encouraging slavery, etc., etc. But they said if they continue to wake up, which is what the Holy Quran does, which is what Islam does, we will no longer be able to enslave them. So they said George Washington and other founding fathers of America, who, by the way, were Muslim shriners who studied the Holy mm. Quran in secret, just so you know. George Washington, John Jay, Paul Revere, John Hancock, John Paul Jones, you name it. They studied, James Otis, they studied the Holy Quran in secret. As a matter of fact, in the Library of Congress, you couldn't even read the Holy Quran unless you proved that you were a Muslim. It was in the forbidden area of books, but the Bible was everywhere. So understand how they use this. They said, make them Christians if you see them go into any other area of spirituality. Cast them out. Why? Because... You can enslave a person if they have the same belief of, of, as you and you are the slave master. Because we believe in the same God, don't we? We have the same belief. We're brothers. And right? let's be careful when, we, when, you, when you're talking like yeah. this. We're brothers. But, but, you know, I'm the master and you're, you're the slave, but we're brothers. They're interesting. But if I say, mm, your God don't teach you, my God teach you. Yeah. I can't, no, you can't have sex with my, my wife and rape my daughter. Mm, my God don't teach that. Yeah. Right. Hold on. We got different my God guys. Don't burn right the now. cross in my yard. Yeah, like, wait a minute. Yeah, like, we, we, got a little, we got some different understandings here. Mm-hmm. Then you can no longer <laughs> enslave a person like that. And let me make this very clear. Islam, under, under Caucasian rule, had slaves, just so you know. Caucasian people were inside of every religion. So let's make this very clear, because I don't want to just say it was only Christianity, because it was not only Christianity. It was Islam partially, too. This is what we all got to be you know, mindful when we're discussing topics like this. Both sides have to take responsibility and hold themselves accountable. But when it comes to being in America, Christianity heavily was influencing the slave trade, making us into slaves, etc. But as long as you can keep them to remain a slave, you can control them for generations to come. But once that Islam comes, as many of our ancestors were Muslims when they were on their way here and were brought here, that's another point. And again, this is a very big topic, but the point is you can only enslave a people who have the same exact belief as you, but understanding the belief that they, they are still subordinate to you. So there's still ranks in this thing. You a Christian, I'm a Christian, but you're a better Christian than I am. God speaks to you, not me. I got to go to you to get to God. Mm-hmm. This is how we were taught. And then, but don't go talk to them other people who have the other, other belief. Don't, if they don't believe in Jesus, no, they, they must be of the devil. Only Jesus, only Jesus, but Jesus wasn't a Christian. See, again, this is where the study comes in, and that, that, that's a whole pregnant topic, brother. Yeah. But just know, in America, when you were going into slavery, it was under the cross, in America specifically. Is there good in the Bible? Yes. You see, and we're family. So we shouldn't be arguing anyway, because white supremacy has infected all religions. And they don't give a damn about you if you are black in any religion, just like the world of Islam has racism in it. The world of Christianity does as well. 
That's the main overall point. So as of right now, I think it's 2022. We should probably, if we're smart, end this religious game banging because we ain't no better than Bloods and Crips. Yeah. If right. we really want to go there. They, it's, it's really deep, too. It's just like, like no. It's like how you, <laughs> no. how you want to shoot like people and then still say you of all the, like, you know, do it to others and all this stuff. It's like, really you go to tiered church in the church, like you said, too. Like, it's people that, like, get to have a say so on what's going on in the yes. church and you know even down the ushers and people in the in the choir like yeah you don't get to sing the solo this week and all that stuff like it's it's real deep with you us you gotta pay a certain amount of money to sit further up to the front uh-huh. in a lot of mega churches that's like real. it's a basketball game it's very real <laughs> yeah. which ain't got nothing to do with god that has something to do with this mm-hmm. dogmatic teaching right see that's the difference again and that's that's in every area every religion we got to get out of this religious Nonsense. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, who was my leader, I don't give a damn who has anything to say about it, nobody. He said, we should argue over religion after we're free. Mm-hmm. Period. So Why the hell am I arguing with you right now? We, both in we got the same enemy, and we arguing. We, we look crazy as hell. Change. Yeah. Crabs. And that's how we've been for bro. hundreds of years. Crazy as hell. It's like, they go to the gate right there, guys. Y'all right? Yeah. <laughs> no, but I don't like how you looked at the gate, though. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why my chain is better than your chain. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. I got gold chains. See? You got you silver. Got silver so chains. You ain't got no chains. Yeah. Your chains on your ankles. Mine up here on my neck. Nigga, we still in chains. Chains, bro. That's a fact. Oh, man. Come on. Yeah. So, <laughs> all right. So, was there a, a, I remember when it clicked for me, when I realized, like, what the man and how white people were. <laughs> My mom made me watch the Roots. And I was oh, eight the years original old. one. The original one. Kente, 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 Come on, watch out to read the rainbow. <laughs> we got Lavar Bird. He late. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he looks just like he looks exactly like, like, but like But listen, though, but like, that changed my life and how I looked at everything. Even when I went to school the next day, like it was it was over with for anybody white. Like it was just, you know, I had white friends, but until that day, like I don't have no more white friends man shout out to, to, to white boy chicken shit my boy benji we used to call him right white bread chicken shit because he could shoot wow. he could really play but we call him white bread chicken shit but after roots i couldn't fuck with benji no more so was there i'm asking i'm saying that to say forget my story was there any particular thing in your life like oh that's the man that they've been talking about <laughs> i never trust white people okay was too, too much? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Some people have like a specific moment where it's like, oh my God, like True. I really had one. No, so I, I, I never had jump. a moment where I trusted white people. Got you. Uh, sorry. <laughs> More than culture. All right, uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Got you. But seriously, and, mm-hmm. and even when I talk to them like this, they respect it. Because I know I'm not coming from a place of hatred, mm-hmm. but I understand what was done. See, you would never convince a Jewish person to trust a German. Right. Come on. You wouldn't even attempt to do such. Right. Because you would be called Yeah, a person. it'll be on you. You, you see what, what they did in the cannon, man? Got to be fired, too. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Brother. See, again, it's, it's how much do you love yourself first? Mm-hmm. We can't afford. We don't have enough love to pass out. We got love on food stamps right now. We ain't even dealing in real <laughs> we currency. We ain't got no currency love, with the love, man. We, we love food NMT. stamps. Got to hold on to. And I'm not saying that EBT, that gold state advantage, is plastic nah, card. I'm talking about the bro, the Chinese money stamp. You know what I mean? And the, food, <laughs> yes. the white and green paper, yeah. the white and brown paper. Yeah, like, yeah. Bro, love. Love. bro, I'm telling you. So you got to fold it up. So for me, it was, you know, I was raised in consciousness. I, mm-hmm. I didn't celebrate Christmas. I mean, I, I laid in front of the fireplace December the 24th, the night of. To see if some fat white man, <laughs> I, for myself, yeah. five years old. All right, I'm going to lay down right here, right in front of the fire. Like, he yeah. can't step over you. Right. Step <laughs> on me or whatever. <laughs> and I laid there, bro, just to see, mm-hmm. is this true? And I woke up, fire's out and everything, sun is up. Yeah, Ain't no Christmas tree nowhere. I didn't hear nothing. I'm a light sleeper. Okay, it's bull, it's bull crap. Yeah. It's a lie. So, no, it was, I've always, it's been, always this been like that mentality, but I will say, Having family members, extended family members, except, you know, cousins, things like that, who did celebrate certain things and looking at the world, how it was, I would always witness certain things. My brother getting tossed in the back of a police car. I would witness certain how he was treated, how my mm. people were treated. I would look at what, how white people were treated when it came to the police interaction versus us. And we would do the same thing. I'm talking about cooperating. Yeah. Bro, you're talking about the 90s. Come on, bro. You ride, bro. Rodney King ride, 92, 93. Yeah. Okay. 
white folks was green lit back then. Yeah, green they lit. Was they was yeah. getting pulled out of cars. And <laughs> yeah. Then would have to stop. Like, oh, you white get them. Man, listen. We, <laughs> Simple. <laughs> we had to call up my auntie because she mixed, and we was like, "Yo, do not stay take inside. your ass on that street." It was real. Yeah. So no, I I personally never had that moment where I said, "Oh, you know what? It is true. Racism does exist. Gotcha. That's the man." Blah. No, it was. I was raised in it. I understood it, but I never, you know, held hatred towards white people. I just didn't trust them. I knew them. When you understand the nature of a thing, you know how to deal with it. Yeah, and they done, they done hit us with the crossover so bad. It's like, yeah, black people steal, and they 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 bad, and they kill. But, like, no, it's y'all. Y'all the ones that have been doing bro. it the whole time. Y'all stole us. Bro, <laughs> y'all we still in Frito. Yeah, man. In Newport. Yeah, yeah bro. trying to survive. You stole what I'm saying, man. You in a drive-by, we just be shooting and going, Brother. man. Y'all go and kill everybody. They're all a weird you people. You got the money the yeah. <laughs> yeah, eating people, man. Like, come on. Yeah, man. So, no, it got to be something in the blood or something on the mouth. Mountains or something, man. I don't know what it is, bro. Cannibalism did not come from Yeah, that. man. Y'all need to well, drink Sprite, white people. people. Like, you, got, you, got people you got people like Epstein that everybody knows about. They oh, doing all this stuff, brother. and it's like they, they run the industry. And no, they, they sold you know, him out because he was about to reveal the rest of it. I about to say, he knew too much. They got him oh, out of there quick. He yeah, wasn't in jail he, for about an hour. Pre- he, like, he had presidential he Presidential uh, secrets in his pocket, like oh, ready. Yeah. He finna drop that phone with Trump name on. it. <laughs> 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 drop, drop that live. Yeah, like, it's a flip phone. Yeah, over yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, There's levels to this thing. Man, Ooh, it's so mm-hmm. deep. <laughs> There's levels to this thing. I was actually on the island. I was in the Virgin Islands, uh, 2019, I believe, early 2019. Saint Thomas and Saint John, two different islands. Saint John is right next to Epstein Island. Oh damn! I didn't know oh, about that's this where you was at, wasn't it? until I got we was back. Saint Croix, Saint Croix, okay. Saint Saint Croix. Right. Uh-huh. I didn't know until I got yeah. back about a year or two later. They're talking about Epstein Island. They showed on the map. Right. They said we was right, right there next to that island. You mean to tell me right there stuff was going on that we yeah. really? And by the way, Saint John, they, they the, the young ones say that they got Crips. They call themselves Crips. Really on the island. Saint <laughs> Thomas, they call themselves Bloods. Bro, blew my mind. What? I had to teach a whole auditorium full of young Islanders. I was like, what does Crip mean? <laughs> <laughs> like the Bill Cosby. <laughs> what? what does Crip mean? And they were like, what you talking about? Don't do Crip, y'all don't Crip, Crip. <laughs> I'm so serious. A I shot to the Virgin Islands. Brother, Whoa. and Boy, the blood. I said, what does blood mean? Yo. Do y'all know where this came from? Mm-hmm. And they had no idea. I said, okay, well, do, do that blood call. They was like, so whoop, soup. I said, knew that. You know the call and everything, yeah. but you don't know the history. So you even know the, what it meant? They, they got to take a boat to bang on somebody, somebody though. Right? Oh. <laughs> Banging in sandals? This nigga did a swim by. It. That's crazy. Oh, man. <laughs> but I, I had to teach them That's the definition. crazy. The acronym. Yeah. I was like, community <laughs> resistance in progress. Mm-hmm. Depending on what hood you go to, they'll say community revolution in progress. Depending yeah. on what, what area. But it was the community coming against... Coming together to go against white supremacy and evil police officers. That was the original purpose. Mm-hmm. And they were like, what? No, man. No, no. You know, you're crazy. I was like, <laughs> brother. Yeah, so I said, I'm from Compton. Yeah. Where the Crips started. The Avenue was mm-hmm. way over there. What do y'all? I mean, I want y'all to know. And they, they, it blew their mind. Yeah. So I want us to understand how much we influence our people. Right. All across yeah, somebody the world. just went over there and dropped that on them and left it. It was like, yeah, y'all Crips they now. Didn't, so y'all got they didn't even leave the little notebook or nothing. No, 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 no cliff notes. A little, yeah. Yeah. Hey, leave, he go to hard drive. Y'all go back. <laughs> Whoa, Bloods and Crips in St. St. John. St. John and St. Thomas. Damn. Two different islands. Like how, right how do you feel there. about the uh, the Young Thug and Gunner the Rico case? It just seems really racist that they're oh. trying to do the lyrics of, you know, these guys. And, and it's just It seems real sticky. It's like, how? Chapter two of my book. That I, I don't have it with me because we sold out yesterday, but I'm going to give all of you okay, a copy. Okay. Chapter two is called Social Media. I wrote this book in the middle of 2019 for a reason. In that book, in that specific chapter called Social Media, I go into the origin of social media, its purpose right after 9-11, etc. Mm. Patriot Act, etc. All of it was to invade the privacy of the people in a way Ooh. where we would accept it. That Patriot Act, they was like, Ooh, "What's up, I Willem? remember that. Right the and now we gonna give it to you, brother. Yeah, now we gonna find give your you cousin everything. over in St. Louis uh, yeah. on Facebook. Yeah, we want to want you to get in touch with you your people. Put the location book. on the two. Brother. Yeah, yeah. Put show all you, your drugs. Put you where you be at. <laughs> and then they have psychologists as the number one people behind the apps, so that they can study the patterns of human beings and our thinking. Why would you answer a question? 
on Facebook that says, what's on your mind? What's on your mind? What are you it's thinking about, bro? That's the question. That is the first thing they want to know about you. That's the question. Do you remember, do you remember that? Yeah. It's yeah. what's on your mind. Those yeah. transparent letters. And you're just typing in there, hanging out over there, chilling with the fam, yeah. eating some broccoli right. and cheese, whatever. You're just like, <laughs> just you're telling what you eat, collected. where are you at, Yeah. what kind of car you drive, your family, your friends, mm-hmm. everything. You don't need to spy on you. You spy on yourself. Well, I, right. I swear, I would just, excuse me again, I would just try and get some pussy. And <laughs> <laughs> then it got all my data. It took me a long time to get on social media, bro. I skipped MySpace. Yeah. I didn't Ooh. get on Facebook until. Tom like, never did it to us, though. <laughs> Tom, 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 Tom yeah. Tom did it to but he was just about to mute. But Tom knew, though. That's why he was looking over his shoulder. Like, That's a fact. Something else coming. He Tom said, y'all be careful. Tom looked back like something else coming. Yeah. <laughs> Now I'm finna sell this. It's Y'all a little cool. Zuckerberg boy up here. <laughs> oh, man. Brother, that Nicole. was... That's, he don't got no soul. Like, no, I can see seriously. it in his eyes. So with the Rico... Oh, yeah, Black Peter again. CIA Black Peter. agent, FBI, CIA meets with Mark Zuckerberg. They have the largest conglomerate of connections to human beings on the planet. Yeah. So when you get to that level, the government has to be involved. Yeah. Simple as that. You so got to work with us. So we got to kill you, sir. Plus, you have to know his family lineage. The word Zuckerberg means sugar mountain. Wow. Oh, I didn't know this. Oh, brother, it's very strategic on how okay. they do everything. Everything has a meaning. But the RICO Act and everything dealing with how they letting us build up charges on our own people and build up charges on ourselves with the words we use on social media that we think they, you know, forgot about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We forget about a post we made five years ago on Facebook. Oh, man. But yeah. they can go straight down. They type in the date. The month, and it goes straight to all the posts you made at that time. And they could just go pick any one of these out. It was you that made it. And they can use that against you in court cases. Have you read the terms and conditions, or did you just press accept when you downloaded the app? I ain't got time. Uh, and, and man, that's crazy. <laughs> no we, none of us no got enough time, but then you're going to no do time. But you got the time. Uh, you ain't got no time. It's you got the time now. Now you can read it. You got time. <laughs> I hope this makes everybody take a moment to have some patience to really start reading. Because that Rico thing is not stopping with Young Thug. Mm-mm. No, this is going everywhere because one thing that they will not have is Negroes <coughs> who they allow to have large amounts of influence on their platforms to have a base of people and influence over large amounts of people's minds all at once to where you can actually create a revolution with one post to let them get in touch with brothers and sisters who will spark the right thought in their head to do such. Mm-hmm. So what we're going to do is we are going to go after all of you Negroes who even made us believe that you would turn against us when we gave you these platforms. We'll be damned if you shake up our plantation again, mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. what they really plan on doing is something that has to be done outside of the influence of those who really have the influence. They have to make sure they take down certain people and make examples out of people. Yeah. So the, 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 the basic situation is stop putting your business on the Internet. Don't get involved in criminality. I got to say this to the brothers. Yeah. Do your best, man, to I'll be it's- clean. It's spreading like wildfire. People basically showing how yes. doing doing criminal activity on social media. Yeah, I don't, I'm I don't bragging it. about. It. I saw and then the police showing how they caught you too. They said they I saw. Yeah. I saw these kids. They broke into uh, CVS and they took pictures with all the skittles and, and lean. They had guns like yeah <laughs> in the CVS. Like they broke into CVS, but they came back to their house True. and laid out oh, all the shit they had oh, oh, oh. was in the pictures. They was like, how they catch us? Yes. <laughs> 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 You work for the police now, sir. No, like, yeah. like they just let you post first. And and, and what you're saying is serious. Like it, it could turn too, because I know a young lady. You know, she does the twerk videos and all mm-hmm. that. Got up to like a million a million uh, followers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> George Floyd situation happened. She starts posting about that, and I'm talking about. No. I can't find my baby no more. <laughs> <laughs> and I took my baby. <laughs> Where's she going? I was like, oh, she, she conscious, you know what I mean? She's that, talking about it. That was, was not a over. part of the agreement. That was not a part yeah. of the agreement. It's like, oh, it, it ain't been no booty in three posts. Exactly. You got to well, get out of here. That's what happened to T.I. He, 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 he would pop up when the police would mess with some kids or something, like defend all the kids. And like, he'd be go to South Side, West Side, go mm-hmm. march. He put out a thing, we need reparations. He hit up Lords of London. We need our money. Y'all still make money. And they play. went after him. And they came after him so fast. And mm-hmm. then we all went behind him. And came. I'm like, yeah. damn, that was quick. Brother, I, we trust our enemy too much. And what we don't understand is you think that because he allowed you, allowed you, allowed you to have this, mm. the hell is a smartphone. Tap. Think about this. <laughs> it gets smarter because of what you put in it. Or every conversation you have, every text message you send, every group you hanging around, all the rooms you in, you're going live, you're showing all your business, you're telling them everything he needs to know about you. 
without realizing because why? We don't have no damn discipline. We ain't got no patience. We all out here doing everything. Ah, everything, just everything. Then when something happens, serious, now we want the black card, this, this, this. No, 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 brother, wait a minute. Your enemy gave you this device so that you could tell him what you're doing. Not so that you can hang out with your fans and friends and family and get connected. No, 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 that's not, that's not, no, no, no. This goes through checks and balances of the United States government. Over $40 billion security system. They yeah. record every text, mes text message, every DM, every fax. They record it all. You, if you don't know what Edward Snowden is, he revealed all this. Yes, all this I, I cover in chapter two. Glenn Greenwald, he reveals all this. I put it in chapter two. We really have to understand how serious this is. Seriously. The only way we're going to get through this, by the way, is through our collective unity and by us moving strategically off of this. Get with like-minded brothers and sisters who want to make moves, but do it off of this. That's yeah. the only way you're going to make it happen. So this RICO Act, brother, every blood, every crip, every BD, GD, whatever hood, borough you want to call it, you might want to come together and get the intelligent brothers among you and make sure they're not government agents because every hood has them. Mm. That's another part of that. Yeah. Just in case this don't work, we got some people, some organics up yeah. in your group yeah. to make sure they're going to work. I'm just telling you. Yeah, I know. You better know your enemy. All right, because even these podcasts and YouTube, and they okay, yeah. Oh, man, this one, that they, they going to do a confession every week on them. <laughs> on a podcast. Oh. Oh, oh, I, I, I wasn't going to say the name. No, you know, you know going to come up. Come on, come on. <laughs> no, man. we bleeped that name out. We already yeah, said it. Yeah, we don't like that. Yeah. Yeah. Say the full name. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, anyway. that's it. Yeah. <laughs> so, it was like, so, so when you murdered him, like, did you hold the gun like this? Or <laughs> <laughs> bro, like, God damn, bro. God damn. <laughs> You are a devil. Yeah, you know man. You are. That's why you keep your face off camera. Mm -hmm. anyway, let's make this Ooh. clear. You are a damn devil, and you know that. He don't be in the, he don't no. be in the same room with these people ever. Brother. Yeah. He's conducting these interviews. Oh, he got somebody own. else doing it now. Yeah. <laughs> Brother, because he it's hot. It's hot. He his own. There's a lot of, okay, for those who keep going on his network knowing that he is literally the first 48s of YouTube. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, for those who know. Yeah. Okay. For anybody who continues to go on knowing that, you need to check yourself, seriously. Any, yeah. All of our people, and I say this with love, we have to check ourselves. Because attention is a drug. And having a certain amount of reach, we think, oh, yeah, it's effective. No, it's not about the quantity. It's about the quality. So stop being so thirsty to get on these platforms. That's why he never invited me on, just so you know. Oh, yeah, he was. His team reached out to my team slightly until he started watching my videos. Oh, so he didn't know. No, he know. He just saw he saw the numbers, and he yeah. saw me with certain artists and celebrities. Like, oh, yeah, I want to go ahead and invite that guy on. No, no, oh, no, yeah, you don't. Nah. Yeah. No, because once he's made certain remarks about the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan, I remember that. I'm like, check this out, white boy. Let me say this to you. Put you in your place. And I did a video on him, and yeah. after that, it put an avalanche out there. Then Godfrey comedian, then Lord Jamar, they all said, "Oh, we not rocking with him because of what that. he said." Again, we have to make sure people respect. Our people and respect us. Especially when they make a whole living off of us. He made you don't over, be having white boys on that show. Brother, he Never. made easily over $10 million yeah. off of black people alone. Alone. So I want y'all to understand, this is not a, a game. So no, which is why he was named after the impaler Dracula, mm -hmm. emperor in Rome, who used to eat Dracula. People. The original vampire. Yeah. Yeah. He is a blood sucker, blood sucker. Just like the person you are named after. I'm looking in the camera so yeah. I can understand. Anybody else who has this type of mentality where you are bloodsuckers of our people, using our people for money and political gain, etc., you have to be called out and corrected. That's mm -hmm. all. It's black, it's black people do that too now. Yeah. <laughs> That's a fact. Have you ever, has, has Candace Owens people ever reached out to you? <laughs> <laughs> so Candace she needs, Owens, man. She needs a, a good a, conversation. <laughs> with a black man. She needs one. Like a black man who loves the black woman. Yeah, she needs one. Seriously. Yeah, like she's I, hurt. I, I, no, seriously, brother. <laughs> she's yeah. hurt. You definitely been no, yeah. Her damn Her, lost. That sister, yeah. she's sharp. Yeah, she's really smart. She's dangerously sharp because mm -hmm. she's being used by the enemy. Yeah. But now she's being humbled slightly. It happened a number of times. I, one of the times is when she had her baby uh, by the man, her husband, that she's with. Mm -hmm. And the comments went off, talking about her child and all that, because you've been talking about a lot of our black children mm -hmm. who were murdered, talking about them like they were dogs. Mm hmm and now that energy came back to you. So she cut the comments off, stuff like that. And then a lot of other things were happening. But yeah. she, so the facts that she gives, there has to be a level of compassion. So no, they haven't reached out to me to answer your question. But if they did, I would respond. I wouldn't mind sitting down and, and having a discussion with her. Because one, I'm a black man that actually knows 
He's a black man, yeah, <laughs> and and, I, and I'm bold about that, right? You know, as I, as we all are, but also at the same time, I don't bow to white supremacy nor anyone who works on behalf of it. You married a white man, understand there's a certain way I'm going to handle you. She did, so therefore you have a bias. You can't confront the system of white supremacy because you're sleeping with it. Yeah, you right in it. So therefore, and that's out of respect. I say this respectfully. Okay, same thing with anybody else. We don't hate anyone. But understand, we are at war, and there's, there's situations and circumstances, so there must be respect. If you're married, then, then you know, all praise due to Allah. We must respect marriage. We respect love, no matter who it is. But just be mindful that that energy that is put out has to come back at a certain point. So if we had a conversation, it would be, it would be very civil. It would be respectful. I respect her because she's a black woman, whether she knows it or not. Yeah. She is that. And that's how I talk to her as a brother to a sister. And, uh, and I think we would agree yeah, on I think most that, of it. Yeah, that would be good. I yes. think that would be good for her. I would That'd like to see it. I would like to see it for real. <laughs> Have you talked to Kanye? No comment. <laughs> good deal. Yes, <laughs> yeah, he's so up and down. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's like comment about, brother, though. You know, yeah, yeah. I'll say it this way. He is a brilliant brother who had the wrong people put around him. That's so many people. Before his mother <laughs> passed. Mm-hmm. Be mindful of how sincerely triggering certain things are. What happened that caused the change? Mm-hmm. We always have to go back to the cause, the why. Not look at the reaction, the response, and then go off on the reaction. Oh, look at this person, blah, blah. I told y'all that. Wait, 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 wait. What caused what that? The moment that man's mother passed away, right. he was never the same. Wait, you right. In the manner that she did. In the manner yeah. that she did. That was a lot. Brother. Yeah. yeah. That was his heart. Mm-hmm. And you on yep. top, too. You, like, finally conquered yeah. everything. And it makes it, ooh, like, you done yeah. raised her up with you. You yeah. got everything. I mean, you like, come on. You really did that. And mm-hmm. yeah. she's gone. And he was 100% different. Brother. And the other thing that most people don't realize, the area of psychiatry goes after and strategically targets artists and influencers. Really? They use psychiatrists. The United States government uses psychiatrists and the area of psychology to go after the people whom they cannot control. So they, they get them and they say, oh, this person has this mental disease, this mental disorder. The area of psychiatry and mental health is an area that I've been studying for roughly the last 17 to 20 years, fighting against it, um, pushing for legislation against the abuses in the mental health field as well. Just so you know, vaccines is one small part of my life. But he was put on psychotropic drugs. He was also given electroshock. ECT. Oh shit! I didn't know that. Just they so you know, do that. Yes. Yeah, I thought that was like some archaic. Oh no, they still do it, brother. What? Rapidly changed his personality. Yeah. He was committed to a psych ward. I remember. And that changes your personality. They send volts of electricity through your brain, Damn. and it changes you. That's why he doing this. You're like, what's going on? Oh, with you yeah. don't know. He was manipulated and then put on those drugs, and he came out and said it. Yeah. He, he said did. they put me. On, on these drugs, I didn't want to do that. Period. He was yeah. too influential. He got too big, too fast, and too many people were listening to him. Because mm-hmm. now you got black people and white people rocking the Yeezys and all that, yeah. listening for real, for real. And the, right. the young generation, Brother, too, and making he this. making big moves. He was making <coughs> big school, financial school moves. Mm-hmm. Well, brother, no, it, it was. We have to understand the cause of things. Don't just look at the person when they do something crazy. Now you turn on. Them. Stop that. What happened that caused a person to go through what they went through, and then you will find the truth. So always go to the root of the thing. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, because <laughs> that whole Kanye stuff. I, I, yes, sir. I remember that. It was like he, he said, you know, George George Bush doesn't care about black people. He said it right on that oh, show. Yeah. Michael Myers like. <laughs> like, ah. Y'all Tucker, remember that, bro? That yeah, was hilarious. Was funny and then they cut to Chris the Tucker, and he was on like, ah. <laughs> Oh, man, how like, well, how you do me like that? Brother, guy? Yeah, he let me real. know. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and and they came after. Oh, speaking of coming after people, like, can you talk about any of the? I'm trying to put this the right way. Fucking threats um, yes. that you've received from wherever the government, uh, oh, yes. the Proud Boys, or whatever. Can you talk about some of those? Stuff? That's adorable. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it this way: um, visited by the FBI first in 2013 at my doorstep. Wow. Uh, yeah, before I had an Instagram, just so people can understand. I've, I've been working in the community for about the last 22 and a half years. Okay. Before I was on social media, I've been doing this work. A lot of people started on social media. No shame in that. You know, no, no shame in that at all. But I brought on to social media what I was doing in real life. Gotcha. So 
I know my brother's coming in. You did all that to put a all praises do. Yes, sir. To the one and only. He doesn't like the Warburg. Come on, man. That's me. That is who I am. His face said it. We didn't say it. But when he started talking, you hit it. Come on, man. What's up, brother? Nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Real quick, I'm sorry. What's up, nigga? Oh, this is not traditional design? No. Oh, oh, he capping for the interview. Uh, but no, he he's dressed right for the interview. Thank you, brother. My brother is, that's clean, too. I like that. Yeah. See, it is. See, 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 see. What is yeah, going man. on? You, you, just, on. you just set off an avalanche, bro. You going to leave I here. I thought we was leaving with truth. You going to come back with a full three piece. I thought we was leaving with truth. You going to come in here and tell us that you like that jacket. <laughs> Oh it ain't bad, God. but what's well, up with it? No so, uh, so first off, I'd like to say uh, thank y'all for having me. <laughs> you ain't getting interviewed, man. I'm here. How y'all right. doing, everybody? How y'all doing, bro? So, oh, we, we, were, we, were, we were asking him about threats that he's received, and the FBI stood on his doorstep in February 2013. Mm -hmm. That's where we was at. Just Continue, so. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> 2013, first time I visited by the FBI, Asian woman and a brother, bald head, shades on. Um, that was because of information that I was posting on Facebook. Okay. Uh, about the White House and 9-11 information. They come to your house. Yeah, they did. No, no, seriously. They came, pulled up to the house, knocked on the door, flashed a, a, a magnificent badge. I said, why do you have a pretty nice budget? <laughs> magnificent <laughs> badge. That's <laughs> really nice. That's a badge. That's a badge. Y'all doing that it. whole mission statement. Yeah. Said, That's a nice badge. Wow. All right, so, uh, and I came to the door. Interesting. I don't know who was there. Looked through the keyhole, and they said, you know, can we speak to you, sir, and all that? I said, fine. Open the door. This is how God works. I had a big shirt on that said, Allah is God. Interesting. Mm. Word is bond, I promise you. <laughs> Interesting. Had the beanie on, and I had the necklace. Everything said, Allah is God. Yeah. I said, this is a perfect day. So, <laughs> <laughs> perfect timing. So, she, you know, says, you know, can we come in for a second? I said, no, no, I don't, I'll step outside. And then they flashed the badge, and, you know, we're at the FBI, Federal Bureau, blah, blah, boom. Uh, we have a few questions for you, blah, blah. The brother is down at the bottom of the steps. And I said, oh, psychological setup. Bring the person who's non-threatening, et cetera. And I, yeah. and I start, mind you, I'm telling them this. I said, brother, it would have been better if you would have come up here. Mm -hmm. I said, because just so you know, you're a traitor. But we'll continue. I said, well, ah, yeah. no, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm like, okay. So right, she's, down there at the bottom of the steps. Right, right. So she, <laughs> no, I look down. She right. opens the file, big file that they came up as a legal size. Opened it, had my uh, DMV photo in it. Mm. Had my last uh, three or four posts on Facebook. Legal size paper. I said, interesting, color and everything. She said, is this, is this you? Did you post this? Is this I'm Jesus. reading it. I said, well, yes, yeah, definitely. She said, okay, well, what did you mean by that? You know, so, but I said, before I answer the question, I said, why did you come to my, my home? She said, well, we're just making sure that you're not connected to any terrorist organizations. She tried to throw you in the Rico, my boy? Yeah, crazy. 2013. I want you to just, just think about the time. 2000, this is almost a decade yeah. ago. And you said you want to make sure that I'm not connected to any terrorists. Terrorist organizations. Ma'am, mm -hmm. I don't know how long you've been in the FBI, but terrorists don't post about it. Oh, brother. <laughs> right, brother, brother. Right. And I'm thinking, wow, this is very interesting. I said, you know if I'm in a terrorist organization, you know full well. That's your house. Yes. And I said, brother, you know, you know, I'm still trying to figure out how you put an application. <laughs> you know. He was like, I know, brother. <laughs> right. You know, and, but he had the shades on. She didn't. I said, mm. Mm, very interesting. Fancy eyes. So I said, you know if I'm in a terrorist or not. I said, no, I'm not a terrorist. So I start answering the questions, blah, 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 talking about 9-11. Well, what did you mean by that? I said, 9-11 was an inside job. That is well known. Mm -hmm. well, how do you know that? I said, there's a documentary called Loose Change that came out. There are over 100, 200, 300, actually roughly over 2,000 engineers who are calling for the reopening of the 9-11 files. Jeez. Because they saw so many scientific and physic mm -hmm. uh, inconsistencies, mathematical mm -hmm. inconsistencies. What's going on with that? I said, everything from... Um, the from the the actual metal beams being Imploding. able to be burned, but the fuel of a jet does not burn at the temperature with which to melt these beams. Mm -hmm. People who were there heard explosions on every floor. Mm -hmm. Bomb sniffing dogs were there. You had people who were receiving text messages at least two to three days before telling them not to go to work that day. Mm -hmm. It was announced over in the UK hours before it happened that it happened. Why on that day where there are only two fighter jets protecting the entire 
northeastern seaboard to protect anything or anyone against a terrorist attack. What are you talking about all of a sudden this thing happens the next morning you have 19 pictures of 19 hijackers? Well, yeah. if it was uh, Afghanis that did it, people from Afghanistan, why did you invade Iraq, or pardon me, Saudis, why are you invading this area? Why were there two Israeli cameramen right across the river recording this before it happened? And I can go on and on and on. I said, you know, as an Asian, what they did to some of your people in the internment camps here in America. Why would you <coughs> work for them? I, I mind you, I'm flipping it on them now. Yeah. You can oh, hear right. it. Right. You hear and me. you really are trying to say that I'm connected to a terrorist. I said, is it because my last name is Islam? Is that what it is? Mm-hmm. They said, well, no, we saw certain posts. And I said, there are white boys making posts about and saying that they're going to blow up this country if certain people are elected or not. Do you know what that is? Are you going to their homes? Yeah. That's We're my cousin. Guns. I can't. We're not carrying <laughs> weapons. I said, you're serious? And I said, a brother, how dare you? FBI, J. Edgar Hoover, yeah. ring a bell. Yeah. I said, brother, how can you live with yourself? My, I'm talking to you. It's just me. <laughs> yeah. Me and the God. And I'm like, you really? <laughs> Tell you, G. And, okay, well, thank you, sir. I said, no, no, no. no. Uh, I, come on, we have time. Now we got time. Y'all want some drink? Y'all right, no, <laughs> really. I really don't mind. And I wasn't, see, it's. When Seven you know day hate on purpose, your door, You don't have any fear. And it's not foolishness because, I mean, really, it was just kind of, I was disappointed in them. I said, you're yeah. the FBI. You are the, I mean, you, you the one. You done took yeah. out some of our greatest. And you came to a black man. I was watching cartoons. and <laughs> What cartoons? <laughs> I was watching, Dragon Ball Z. I was watching oh, Dragon Ball Z. If you, was, came over here. if you was going to say Boondock Saints, <laughs> that one episode. <laughs> Boondock Saints. Boondocks. Boondocks. Boondocks Saints is definitely not a cartoon. I'll just make sure y'all, y'all do it. Sure y'all, <laughs> he's younger than us. So he's, you know Nearly a thousand people. So they came to your house. Yeah, they came to your house. And buy the book. That he yes, about to give please us. Please buy the book. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> he probably the Morning Culture on YouTube. Yeah, Morning Culture on the Patreon, Morning. too. You can see that. Yes, sir. And they, but they came to your house, and, yes. they, and, and they did all this, but they couldn't stop this dude from shooting up the schools. Like, like, they, like this shit happens. So oh, much. yeah, they, po- they post like the school everything they about to do. And it, it just, I, I just, because that day, the day it happened, I had my sons. Like, I had yes. went home, took my kids to the dentist, and I came back like, damn, I'm, like, mm-hmm. what? Yes. Shut up the babies Like this dude Been posting stuff Like yes. y'all don't Like to see they to do, Go to this extent For you on this Yes Every shooter posts Every shooter posts They have posts. a manifesto a lot. They always yes. have manifestos They tell people And, and that, that's but, they, that, they, but that's That's a that's Hell that's part of The, the population as well though. Well, see, they, uh, they never change The gun laws Like well, they, they always take the, con- the conversation That go all the <coughs> way around And talk Brother, about the guns A white man Shooting someone in America is considered an American, but a black man speaking the truth is considered a terrorist. Mm. Speaking the truth as a black man makes you a terrorist. But shooting somebody with a gun, semi-automatic, being a young Caucasian male, makes you an American. American right. Yeah. I just, oh, we have to understand the psychology on how real this is. They even picture and describe this person as misguided, misunderstood. Immediately. Long range. Immediately. As soon as they show him. He's, he's mental health. Mental like, health. That's every young time. man. Like, young, young he was boy. raised by a pistol. Oh, oh, wow. he's he's a bitch. That's what he is. COVID. Go, yeah. go, go, yeah. COVID. The new one is COVID man. now. You know, like, you that was the new one though. How no, COVID? That's, that's that right there? Well, he was isolated in his right. home and it caused him to. Wait a minute. He wait a minute. One. Wait a minute. Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, was it? Y'all thought it was all now. Yeah. Now, we already have reasons to want to kill white people, but we don't do that. That's not our heart, clearly. Especially that Juneteenth ice cream. Oh, man. Boy. Come on, now. boy! I was so mad about that. <laughs> you look but, like the Jewel Team lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> I work with uh, I hear you too. Al Sharpton. The <laughs> <laughs> Jewel Team lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> These are some of my clients. Oh, uh, that's a nice shirt. That's not funny. But no, that that right there (laughs) should tell you all you need to know about America. We Mm. will let that happen. We knew he went and purchased the gun. We knew where he drove from. And mind you, there were two more shootings yesterday. Yeah, yeah. One in Philly. They're starting to find. I mean, there's been been so many. Like, I think there's been more mass shooters than days of the, the year already. But it just depends on what the media shows. Chooses really? to show us Even that But we, we sit in here And saw Trump Tell them white folk To run up in the building mm-hmm. And then they ran up In the building It was like No right. no no mm-hmm. They would have shot The shit out of us dog yeah. We wouldn't have made it To the first step dog, They would right. poof, 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 poof. They would yeah. gave all them dudes Bonuses and everything They no, would got little you... jackets Shot four niggas No seriously <laughs> Four <laughs> niggas down <laughs> 
Call them themselves Patriots. They left the hands <laughs> to the White House Capitol. Yeah. They smeared Man. feces on the feces. walls. People was all on the desk, feet up on the desk, they, looking through government documents. They really? dumbass think they go. The votes is in paper. How the yeah. fuck? <laughs> you Where the votes? We got to erase them. Give y'all got erasers. <laughs> Look at the got erasers. I got some white out. <laughs> <laughs> Look in the vacuum. It's oh got. Oh I got a podium, guys. We do this. Stupid ass. Crazy. Oh man! I was so glad when that white lady got shot in the neck, boy. That was so mm. funny. Hey. Uh, hey. Side question off of all of that: Did, <laughs> did you have a <laughs> being from LA? You know, doing what you did. You have a relationship with Nipsey? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Talk mm. about that, man. That's yeah. this this Nipsey, one of my uh, favorite rappers and people. I'm I'm gonna say this as a brother, not as a fan. The work that he was doing is is not only not only is it overlooked, <laughs> but it's not focused on enough. Mm. And I mean, really, the work he was doing was of the original essence of a crib. Community resistance in progress, protecting the people, setting up ways to have opportunities for children and right. adults and brothers who are felons, sisters who are felons, mm. and give people jobs. I mean, the brother was doing so much revolutionary work that it confused a lot of people. Yeah, You know, really, the brother, I mean, the conversations that me and him had, we only had two. There's another thing, a lot of people started capping. You met him once. Me, I used to hang out with brother. <laughs> <laughs> Two times. Okay. <coughs> the, brother, the work he was doing with technology. At Vector 90. At Vector 90. Yeah. Brother. That was the last thing I seen him talk about. Oh, yeah, man. He went over to, I believe it was Amsterdam. Okay. And he saw a certain district that was ran on nothing but, what is it, Bitcoin and different technological chips. Okay. Very advanced technology. He said, man, we need to bring this back. So he invested in a company, came back and started putting that in the clothing. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. He started looking at ways to get brothers jobs, sisters jobs. He was looking at how could he set up generational wealth. He was educating the brothers on it. He used to get a lot of dollars from student minister Abdul Malik Saeed Muhammad. Former name is Minister Tony Muhammad. He was the mm -hmm. Western Regional Minister for the Nation of Islam. That's my minister in L.A. Wow, Nipsey used to get advice from him. He read message to the black man. Bottom of Osama Elijah Muhammad. T.I. even asked Nipsey, if you got one book that you would suggest that I read right now, what would it be? He said, Message to the Black Man mm. by Elijah Muhammad. The brother was very wise, very knowledgeable. Um, and he offered himself as a sacrifice. He went into different hoods and said, if you want to kill me, go ahead. If that's what you want. But I'm trying to bring us together. Seriously. You know, and, and mind you, there's a <laughs> lot of brothers and a lot of sisters Crips, Bloods, multiple hoods who are doing so much good work in the community that don't get the recognition, yeah, look, but there's a lot. And he was working with a lot of them. So I want us to understand it, it wasn't the, you know, neighborhood, crate like banging. It was really, he was doing his best to represent it in a positive light right. that went towards protecting the community, building the community, not tearing it down after he woke up. Mm -hmm. You know, so, it, you know, very good brother. I mean, that's all I can say. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'll be pleased with all the good works that that brother has done because they have been perpetuated. Yeah. We just do our best to keep making a move. I just hate it for every yeah. Nipsey. It seems like it seems like when, when we have some kind of big tragedy like that, they double down on the dumb shit. Like it seems like yeah. it's been more me like if you listen, listen to the escape of music and like what's what's being played. Yes, every song is uh, slide, yeah. kill the op, smoking on the pack. Like, yeah, man. Every I had, six, to, I'm I like, had bro. to put my Anita Baker back in rotation. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm really like, been on. Like, I can gotta calm your spirit. I love. Yeah. Like, I can't. I'm like, yeah, bro. I, every I, song is doing killing the ops. I decompress a lot, man. Yeah. A lot, man. Yeah, yeah. get so, that R&B on. Maybe mm -hmm. I'm not saying that I have cracked the code, brother. But you got. But I have seen uh, an opening. Mm. Um, and, and if you will indulge the thought. Um, <laughs> Y'all crazy. Y'all get this nigga out of here, <laughs> man. If no, y'all don't get this nigga <laughs> out of here, <laughs> man. This this guy 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 can I be awakened? Y'all get this nigga out of here, man. I'm not going to stand for it. I'm not so going to stand for it, man. He for you don't get this nigga out of here, man. The Blazers giving the power. I'm with you, dog. I'm waiting on it, bro. Get, talk to it, man. The power of the black. It ain't no suit. It ain't no suit, man. Let's see the solution. 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 Let's see the who know very little of our true culture mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. have started bringing other cultures into our zeitgeist. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Zeitgeist? Yeah. Go ahead. Come on, man. Let him get him. 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 Let him get him.
I'm about to ball. Come on, man. I just want you to know what you're saying. Ain't no play him no mind, bro. At the end of the never ending story, a tray you said. Oh, man. A tray. Man. No, no, no. Oh, man. No, I just feel like, for real, for real, for real. As far as our culture, we're starting to become like colonizers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the reason why I say that is we're banging on land that doesn't belong to us. Mm -hmm. We're amongst ourselves in a civil war, if you Mm -hmm. will. That's a fact. We have no grounds to stand on unless we pillage, Mm -hmm. take, Mm -hmm. with with no disregard. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was the, the gangster rap era. You know, we was influenced by the the mafias and the Italians, you know what I'm saying? Like that that culture. Mm-hmm. Because we don't know our true culture. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So we're cherry picking mm-hmm. here and there. And right now we're fucking the goofy white people who were killing each other over land and like just it just, it just oh, don't make no sense. So I, I believe mm-hmm. that we are now taking a colonizer's approach to our lives as black people, and I don't fucking want to stand for it. It's the overseer. Mm. It's I mean, the overseer the mentality. Thing. That's the only example yes. we had. That's the only we do what we see. Is there any merit to that, my brother? Hmm. You said for us, or are you saying people call themselves Americans? I, know, I, want, I want to understand the difference just to make sure before I answer that. Well, us. Okay. Us as blacks. Well, us as a people, I'll say first part of this is a lot of what we are dealing with is struggling to reclaim what already belongs to us. Okay. We're doing it in the wrong way. Mm. Because as the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said, many of you are no longer black men. You are white men in black skin. He said that? He did say that. Mm. What? It is real. It's real. That's so real. (laughs) What you just said? There are certain things that we're doing that have nothing to do with us. Right. The manner in which we operating, the way we doing it, how we talking, how we walking, how we're treating our own people, we have become enemies to our people, sincerely. Insane, and we're doing it bro. just like the white man did in certain aspects. So it's kind of like now, wait a minute, who are you? Really? Who was here? Thank you. Because we always want to talk about the white man. I'm gonna say this real quick because we don't be man. always white man, white man. No, 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 no. First white man. That's you what he told us in Christian church, y'all do. Of course. Of course, right? The Christian church came with an instruction. They said y'all be like the white man, the white man. We like white, 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 white man. Right. Right. Yeah, the white man up here though. <laughs> <laughs> Behind me? Don't talk about Not my that savior. That's the one. Not the one with the abs. Holding the lamb. Don't talk about Jesus, man. Don't talk about Jesus. Jesus, little Aquaman. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Boy. That's the name of this episode. Jesus, little Aquaman. Aquaman. Boy. Okay, so it's going to be my picture like this. (laughs) (laughs) You're welcome. That's a quick edit. Oh, man. No, brother. We, We really have become him. We have become him because we were not allowed to have no smoke for him. <coughs> right. But we could have smoke for each other. Each other. That's a yeah. fact. That's That's have smoke for each other. Yeah. You can kill your own. Mm. Better not go kill him. He has an unlimited funding source. Mm. He has an unlimited army that he can just tap this radio on and 500 of them will be right around the corner. Right. So you can have your smoke with your brother. And don't call me brother, call him a nigga because it's easier to say I'm going to kill a nigga versus I'm going to kill my brother. Mm. It's a big difference. You can't even say that. Wow, that's real. So all of this is going on because you are on Negro remote control. Man. Fact. Every Good time, talk. just to kill your own, kill your own because I was not allowed to kill the real enemy. Well, first of all, the Honorable mm. Mr. Louis Farrakhan said that our number one enemy is not the white man. Our number one enemy is our ignorance on, of now. the white man and the system of white supremacy. Because if you knew your enemy, you wouldn't be doing anything at all that reflects him. Right. You wouldn't be involved in anything that he's involved in. You wouldn't be doing anything that he invests in. As a matter of fact, anything that goes towards the the degrading of your own people, destroying your own people, or even what you don't realize is destroying your people, you wouldn't be a part of none of it. Because you know that's a part of my enemy. That ain't got nothing to do with me. So we would move away from all of that. So we've become him, and at that point, right now, we have to take accountability and responsibility. We can't just blame him. Because a lot of us have become him. 
That has to be pointed out, and we have to take responsibility for that. That's what the nation has always taught. Mm. But to be very frank, at that time in the 1930s, 40s, and 50s, who the hell was stringing up black people in trees? And they're still doing it today. Yeah. Who was doing it primarily? It's like, don't get mad at me for pointing out the evil, the yeah. body of evil that was doing it primarily, predominantly, for the vast majority. Somebody looked like that dude. Right. So don't get mad because you don't say nothing to Jewish people when they talk about the Germans and Hitler every year, every year, every year. Mm -hmm. yeah. So don't say nothing to They us. got reparations too, didn't they? Every year, the Jewish state of Israel receives 8 to $10 billion off the top. We got ice cream. <laughs> no, we, uh, hold on. We did not. No, right. we didn't. We did the ice cream got canceled. That's a diabetes. We didn't even, get the, we didn't even get the ice cream. We didn't even. We didn't even get the ice cream. We get our Harriet Tubbs. Oh, that tub. They got rid of that Oh, I was like, ooh, you better not. Black woman. Harriet Tubbs got a twenty dollar bill on that damn IOU. So, so put our face on some gold so we know it's real. Real talk, mm -hmm. yeah, because that, that money don't mean no money. That's what I said. I was like, they're going to put her face on some money when it, don't, when it ain't worth shit. Brother. Work. On some <laughs> food, put her face on some food stamps. And yeah, yeah, we get that in the uh, comedy community. It's a lot of dudes like, we, like we're like we all independent. Like We we, mm -hmm. we focus on dealing with black people. We, we try our best to go out our way. Mm -hmm. Even if shit fucked up, we be like, we going to yeah. work with you, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah speaking of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see you, you and uh, Corey, have, Corey Holcomb, friend of the program, have mm -hmm. a dope relationship. How did y'all end up Oh, yes, sir. Corey Holcomb reached out to me and he said, man. <laughs> That's my dog. You're a real nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this man. And Corey, and, and he knows how I feel about him calling a black woman the B word and all that. Mm -hmm. He said, brother, teach me another word. Because <laughs> I don't know what the fuck <laughs> is me. <laughs> hey, Corey, Corey kind of good. Corey kind of good, bro. That's a good Corey. That's a great Corey. That's a great Corey. I said, brother, there's that's so many trailer. other words. And I mean, I went to different. I said, well, the word tramp means an ignorant person. Mm. Oh, in general. So I said a male or female can be a tramp. I mean, I'm going out to all that, and then we came up to the word scallywag. He said scallywag. <laughs> scallywag. That's that the one. Different. That's the one. That's that the scallywag. <laughs> okay, brother, it's better than me. Yeah, it is. So, you know, so we, we, you know. Scallywag. <laughs> he's, so, he's so crazy. Yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you this, brother. Scallywag. Young scally. We could find anything no to throw each bad. other away. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. I could find any reason to throw my people away. But none of us are perfect. Um, the Honorable Minister Wells Farrakhan said we must love our people more than they hate themselves. So if I have a way to be an example for you, I may not agree with everything you say and everything you're doing, but we don't need to agree with everything. We just need to get on the same page. We have to find something that we agree on, right. to build on, that's all. So me and him have a good relationship. Yeah. He calls me for advice. I talk to my brother. We we like exchange ideas and information. He yeah, just, that's what I saw y'all. No, he, he just he always shows love. He said, brother, the reason he said because you are a real brother. He said you are what you say you are, but he said more so you are what you show you are. Mm, and that's, that's why he always be on there defending me when these sellout people try to talk. He said no. He said that dude. <laughs> he said y'all Negroes won't come. Off of your pedestal in your studio to do nothing in the hood. Yeah. He said, I've seen him in the hood. Off video. I was with, right there with him. He said, I've seen him. He's currently in the hood. <laughs> <laughs> On the ATL side. All right, all right. You a real right now. You a bro. And, yeah. this, and this is where I'm most comfortable. Mm. Seriously. Because our people real for the most part. Like, yeah. you get what you see, right? This is what you get. Mm -hmm. So that's what he said. He said, it's because you really are what you say you are and you show it. He said, I just like real people. I don't like people who put on the fake head no. in front. You a real brother, and that's why I appreciate your respect. You should have yeah. seen me and Tyler. Then we were hard on the white boys, and we had a TV show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you would have been proud of We, we, we oh, was yeah? on their ass. <laughs> they they been, but the shit that they would have presented us to say, we were like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Wait, what show was that? Because you were what, <laughs> we was on Boston on WeTV. We oh, had, yeah. It was like a news kind of, yes. TMZ kind of show. Yeah, it's yes. a black show Salacious. with white producers. Of course. Yeah. Most, yeah. Right. Most, and then we were like, no, that we wouldn't say that. We wouldn't do that. That's why I remember. But move that rug over, man. This shit is... That's, it wasn't even no camera. Yeah, they had a bear rug in it. Yeah, no, nah, it's oh, a regular. He done got the girls on the show to call the producer thick. It's a white boy. He said, he, <laughs> said he hit thick, got hips. That's why representation matters on all aspects. Representation matters. Writer's room. I got to ask you Representation matters. Hold on, I'm so sorry. Social media as well, because, like, mm. I mean, you know, you've been. 
put off of there or yes, whatever it is. They banned, I should say. Yes, but like, I just I started realizing, like I said, after January sixth, I went crazy on live mm -hmm. when um, the monkeys was climbing up the wall, mm -hmm. and I, and then um, I've been getting <laughs> shadow banned. I ain't been able to go live. Mm -hmm. But like, I've noticed that they need representation because like, okay, so my homeboy had posted a video. I think Rihanna was supposed to have broke up with ASAP or whatever. He was mm -hmm. like uh, trying to get with her. I put in the comments, shoot your shot. Uh, a black thing to say. They think I'm talking about, about literally. Ooh, so they're wow. like, yeah, we're going to, we took, we, we removed this comment for violence. Wow. I'm like, y'all don't have nobody black in there today. Yeah, yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. Like, that, You want the first person to say, shoot your shot today. Either. You want to know what's crazy about the whole, because the shit is wild. Yes. Because I reported a picture that a girl posted that had a whole dick in it. <laughs> I'm glad you did. The whole, the whole dick. The whole thing. The whole, from top to bottom. The whole oh dick. Oh, God. Report. 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 They sent me a message back and said, this post does not violate Instagram Bruh. standards. Man, Bruh. yeah. You see that? <laughs> you see that? Okay. Okay. Let me, let me, okay. Break First of down. all, the fact checkers are bull crap, number one. They're funded by the very people who they are supposed to regulate. True. They're funded by pharmaceuticals. They're funded by the Department of Defense and different mm. groups outside of that. So they have strategic people mm. that they ban, block, specific, you know, specific content that they cut down. Nudity, drugs, all the alcohol, all they love. Or just a bunch of jokes, just so you know. Anything that's not serious, mm -hmm. funny, 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 let that go, let that go. The moment you start exposing actual real things of what they're doing, and you start bringing real information about what is going on, from government policy objectives mm -hmm. and how it's affecting local people in mm -hmm. different cities, especially the inner cities. When you start exposing things that goes against their interests, literally, when you start messing with they bad, you start messing with their influence, mm -hmm. that is when they start taking things down. And the algorithm is set up to go towards strategic keywords, like you said, shot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At that time, after January 6th, anything with shot, gun, pow, yeah. anything like that, mm, yeah. investigate. So, mm. The goal is to keep the people in a perpetual state of confusion, keep you in the matrix, keep you outside of consciousness. That's the point. It was created to keep your attention off of, off of real things. <laughs> yeah. This is what it is. That's why you scroll all day. They look at the keystrokes, how many strokes you move on. They look at how long you paused on a post, and then they start to give you duplicate posts that are similar to that. Right. When you have your phone near you, you start having conversations. Man, I want to eat some pizza or something like that. You open your phone, you see an ad for pizza. Oh yeah. Ever happened to anybody? It should be, oh, be uh, the man compression shirt. And like you said. <laughs> yeah. and I was like, yo, I, <laughs> so I don't need that shirt. <laughs> the yeah. I don't want that. Well, you yeah, <laughs> be around you talking about no, it. It's post. very it's very real. So it's it's a part of the algorithm. It's a part of how they set things up to maintain a steady flow of surveillance. This is why I'm doing a class called How to Escape the Trap of Social Media mm. on June eleventh. Digital. Right. Okay. Because we, there you have you gotta know. You you <laughs> You have to understand your enemy. There's a whole system. There's a whole, I mean, everything that they do is a full system. Reasonislam.com for that, but there's layers to it. Yeah, for there's sure. That's why the, uh, social media kind of helped me realize the cap in not only, I guess, the, the, the pandemic, but the mm -hmm. vaccine, because of it got to that point to where you could say the word vaccine or yeah. just say the word COVID, right. and they put that Warning. Uh, that warning. Well, not yeah. even a warning. It's something that you're supposed to click on for the, yeah, for for the, the right information. information. Right. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It's for, the, for correct information. That say, pharmaceutical hey, block. Right. Hey, nigga, put Hey, nigga, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nigga, don't do that. Tell your eyes up there. Ah! Get his nose, but that would be that's a, us, nigga. Uh, <laughs> that would be a <laughs> great <laughs> social media. Right. Hey, nigga, but, but no, I got I, a question oh, about. I got a question. It just it feels like. It feel I, like no disrespect to the LGTB community, but it feels like they're using gay to separate gay from black. Absolutely, it's, it feels like absolutely they feel like like it's a group of people that don't feel like they black. They feel like they're gay first. And I'm like nigga, they gonna beat your ass too. <laughs> Real fast. Too. Let me they just say this: um, the system of white supremacy is in every area. White LGBT members are not treated the same as black LGBT members. So mm -hmm. Let's make this very clear. We love our family. We don't hate you at all. Right. Not at all. We don't agree with what you do because you need a choir agree. director. I mean, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, boy, you yeah. stupid. He did say he came out the church. That tambourine. Hey. That tambourine. We love y'all. You, know, you know the yeah. sign language right. for it is hilarious. We don't. We just don't agree with the style of behavior because if we did agree, if, if our parents agreed with that, we wouldn't exist. So because of that, I can't agree with it, but we love our people. 
um, the area of depopulation has different layers, food, water, uh, everything dealing with the agriculture when it comes to spraying certain chemicals, reproductive services, when it comes to interactions with human beings. In 1974, Dr. Henry Kissinger, who was the 32nd Secretary of State under President Richard Nixon and Gerald Ford, stated in something called the National Security Study Memorandum 200, quote, uh, depopulation, depopulation right? yeah. should be the highest priority of U.S. foreign policy towards the third world, end quote, but it was meant for domestic policy as well. This was adopted by President Jimmy Carter. Mm -hmm. He also authorized something called Global 2000 by where they were looking at how they can utilize food as a weapon that and went peanuts. towards depopulation. Yeah. They had 13 countries as an original targeting level in the NSSM 200. If you look at all these countries, you will realize why America has been involved in their damn country over right. the last 20 to 30 to 40 Sending years. Sending rice and shit. So Minus. why and where does the LGBTQIA plus and whatever other letter they're going to use come into play with this? If I can convince you to turn in on yourself, man and man, woman and woman, I've already gone towards depopulation by way of no procreation. Mm. I've encouraged you to kill yourself by no longer perpetuating your very existence. I just convinced you to die. Mm. But I made you love it. Mm. See, this enemy is so wicked, bro. Man. Your lower desires will be your downfall. We ain't got no discipline. So our little head is leading our big one now? Real talk yeah, like that? that? Yes. And your enemy knows. <laughs> he knows who clicking every half-naked booty picture. Mm -hmm. IG model, he know. Yeah, them fans came to my door and be like, you got your porn hub. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, did you post this? <laughs> it ain't no judgment. We're not judging men. Mm -hmm. We natural men. Yeah. Right. Right, so let's, let's not get this twisted, but let's also be very clear. They study the psychology of our movements. So the LGBT is a part of the depopulation agenda. 1969 with the gay rights explosion had nothing to do with them beating up gay people. It was because that club, Stonewall, Stone, yeah, Stone Hill, Stonewall, I believe, that club was being used as a front group for some of the mob and mafia that was using drug trafficking through that club. So they try to use that and say, this is our cause, stop it. The white man has always been homosexual. Mm -hmm. Something called Greco-Roman culture. Don't go into that racist button. Yeah, yeah. Greco-Roman culture. You have always that houses that. something called pederasty that you know as pedophilia. Yeah. Mm. The ancient Greek Roman art of man boy loving. You've always been that. It's always been him. But that has not always been us. Were there some homosexuals in Africa? Sure, here and there, but there were no tribes right. that accepted that. It was not practiced as a cultural thing. Colony. Let's kill that noise and stop doing that. Because guess what? Even if there were, who the hell cares? Right. If you embrace such an idea, you will no longer exist. So get out of your emotions. Mm. Rise above your emotions into the thinking of God. Be logical. Mm. So it goes towards depopulation. It is another avenue by the system of white supremacy to get rid of the melanated family on the planet Earth by a way where we would accept it. And now we have a rainbow flag talking about gay rights. I don't understand. Yeah. We still ain't got the rights that we need. Yeah. They've got more rights in the last 40 years than we have gotten in 400. Facts. I don't understand this. So you're black first, and you will realize whether if you got a rainbow flag, a flag with a black fist on it, curly hair, blonde hair, you're still a nigga. Still no anti-lynching laws. Come on. Yeah. Emmett Till law. Or Emmett Till. What, what, they, they just they, passed they that, though, right? Yeah, but it's, it's there, but they, no. They, but they, they do shot them it. Asian people. It was a law in about an hour. Yeah. And they got it up quick. Asian hate I said, bro, got a lot Because up. they were organized. Yeah. And uncompromised, yeah. unmoving. And also, the reason I brought up the the, the gay before black because it seems like because we watch more, I've watched a lot of reality shows, and it seems like they take these perfectly great black couples that are doing fine. Come on, brother, and fucking destroy them yes. on TV, and we watch the destru the destruction of the whole step couple by step. Yes. over the years. Yes. And they mm -hmm. the woman glows up, and yes. she does all this other shit, and yes. all they do is meet and have wine and throw wine on each other, yes. and it's like, <laughs> these motherfuckers was fine before they met these goddamn directors and yeah. producers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, everybody was and fine. So, and, all right. and sometimes that's the only representation other countries have of us here well, in well, America. girls are making this goals now. These kids right. are young. They mama in the club That's too. They mama too. at $2 That's $2 crazy. Tuesdays. That's true too. Everybody mama 32 and they daughter 20. Couldn't they body so, up. Shit. See, look, we, we, like you said, we, we have to take accountability, bro. Sisters, you cannot want respect if you are voluntarily disrespecting yourself every day. Mm. You cannot demand something that you don't give yourself. Vice versa with us as brothers. We can't demand respect. The white man stop hurting me and we killing our own brothers. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Hold on. This don't, this don't right. work here. You want to protest when the white man kill you, but you don't want to protest when the black man kill you. Right. See, what, right. what, what you want really? See, I don't like that. That, hip, that hypocrisy is sick. And your enemy is laughing at you. Nigga, you shot your own. 
Right. Now what? Yes, is it a product, product of self-hatred? Yes, is it a product of the slavery and that indoctrination? Absolutely. But it's 2022. How many of us know it's wrong to kill a black man? Come on. How many man, of us? You can't tell me it's just bro. the white man now. Chill, it's not just man. him. You want to be him. And vice versa, the same thing with a lot of sisters. You got goals because you following people on the internet who don't believe half the crap they posting, yeah. who don't live the lifestyle that yeah. they make you think they live in. And they didn't mm -hmm. want to be who they were until the white lady took whatever this was and made it look hot. Like they done took I the know. left ass and made it they shit. And they, now everybody want ass. And I'm like, damn, y'all was that originally. Brother, and they destroy the area of family because when a black man and black woman are together and they're protecting the black children, they protect society. Yeah. You're not going to disrespect no black family that's based in black love. No, it ain't going to happen. You're not going to convince me to do nothing that's going to destroy my family. No, but sir. if you get me to hate myself, you get me to hate my black queen, you get me to despise my children, then you can do whatever you want to. Mm. I don't know myself. You don't know yourself. You telling all these children and you telling your friends and all that, Psh, man, I, don't, I don't want no man. I don't need no man. Your daughter hears that. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot, I don't, I don't need no, no man. man. Right. And your little son is saying, well, hell, I don't even want to be no man. Mm. That cycle, who are you going to blame it on? And when are we going to stop it? Because at this point, it's like, no, shut the hell up. Either you get up and you take responsibility for the condition that we're in, or don't say nothing at all. Because mm. we can't be selective. I'm going to protest for this situation, but not that one. No, 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 no. Right, when one of us is out here doing wrong, we got to check each other. Period. We can do it with love, but we got to do this. <clears throat> we have to. And we can't be sitting there, well, no, nah, I didn't you know, choose to be no leader. Or we don't want to call somebody out. That's just doing them. No, 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 no. This is why China has removed effeminate-looking Chinamen from national television. They don't let effeminate, soft-looking Chinese men be the image no more on television. Did you know that? Nope. Because they said it will weaken the idea of the security and the strength of their men. They know psychology. They really know it. But with us, what do we do? Put them, oh, all, put them all out there, honey. <laughs> ah. there you go. And you want to be taken mm -hmm. serious. But you, yeah. all you running around with is broken wrist. They let That's me tough, to bro. The family reunion. Right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she done went to Halloween. <laughs> they done let Medea meet the president. Golly. But, but, but Dia was talking to Will Smith about these slap crit. Why you do that? Yeah, I mean, but it's like little boys wanting to be Medea. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, it's you right, man. Shit, it's a real man. thing, bro. It's, yeah. it's real. You so know. I mean, so you you got the you got the book coming out, man. Let everybody know um, where they can. Where they can purchase it, how they can purchase it. Too. Oh, my bad. No, I'm good. I'm, sure? I'm, about to talk, I'm gonna call you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't wanna drill all your time, man. <laughs> I'm like, you know, come on, we man. definitely yes, appreciate it. Come on, we like, yes. <laughs> I got a few questions. Go man. ahead, brother. Okay, yeah, I'm we good. asked 100 Costa Ricans these questions. And oh, we asked some, some, some questions from the fans. Come on, man. So, oh, man. Uh, <laughs> one must go in this category. There's only two. One must go. Mm. Michael Jordan or LeBron James? I can't do that. Come on, brother. Those are two black See, I'm going to say this. That one must go type of trend, I don't like. Mm. Because why? Hoochie mamas or hoochie daddy shorts? <laughs> He's still going. <laughs> no, because you know, that one we can discuss. Yeah, about. <laughs> we can discuss that one. Hoochie mamas or hoochie daddy shorts. Shut up. This is what you was out there sitting in the car doing. He said, I know which one you will agree on. He crazy for that. Both. They got to go, man. got to go. Both, but I'll say in private, with the person you love, and that's that's your queen and your husband. You know you can't. Okay, then that's your private to you. Right. But it shouldn't be promoted in front of the world. But he hooch daddy shorts. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's the enemy of the devil. <laughs> enemy <laughs> of the devil. Enemy. Yeah. That's, that's God. God. No, that's God. No, 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 of the devil. Oh, so hard. Thank you, brother. No, no, he <laughs> does thank you. Hold on. This suit came with a thesaurus. Oh, this suit came with a thesaurus. Thank you, brother. Brother, give me. Ah, uh, no. He said the suit came with a thesaurus. It's not a suit. <laughs> <laughs> I love y'all, man. Okay. You got, all right. Go ahead. Go ahead. We crazy as hell. It's not, it's not a, this is the Jesse Jackson question of the day. Ooh, okay, I'm getting serious. Go ahead. Oh, no. Jesse Jackson, go ahead. This is Jesse Jackson question of the day. Somebody say, bro, wanted to cut a ball and nuts off. Soap. A hope. Remember that. People forget that. You say? People Soap. 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 So
<laughs> soap or <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, like, <laughs> wash up with the I'm thinking soap metaphorically, mm. meaning oh. we must clean up ourselves. Come I'm on, now. So. Okay. Mm. Because keeping hope alive ain't kept us alive. Ooh. So I'm not interested in keeping hope of the stock. Now, he not, now here go the tough questions. I do have a real question, though. I knew what you get done. Uh, here go the tough ones, though. I don't want to get <laughs> I doubt it. One got to go. <laughs> go ahead, right? K, the KKK mm. or Man. the police? <laughs> Same thing. Same thing. I know, nigga. I just want you to say that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I uh, know. What's your question? I don't want to. We don't have to have no. I don't want to. I don't want to make a conspiracy. Y'all crazy for this, man. Uh, morning culture. Yes, oh, sir. man. Y'all did this. Yes, sir. Woo, long time. Yes, sir. I just want to ask you did you see the documentary Who Killed Malcolm X? Mm. Absolutely. I was nice. Like, what, of course. Like, that's what do you feel about it? Uh, there was a lot of good points. A lot of good points pointing at the actual culture. They rode by his house like twice before he went up there. Brother. They were like, he up there. <laughs> Have you heard of the recent New York undercover agent that confessed on his deathbed early last year? Who killed Malcolm X? No. You didn't hear about that? The no. actual confessional on his deathbed. What did he say? The letter. Undercover NYPD agent, which by the way, Malcolm had a lot of agents around him. It wasn't just Eugene Roberts. Right. But there were at least... I think seven to ten that he had directly on him. What? The brother of the undercover NYPD agent, the brother, yes, confessed with a written letter. And he said, I need you to read this. This is when he was in the hospital dying. He said, I need you to read this because I cannot die with this on my conscience. Ooh, so a lot of people confess this stuff right before they die. Yeah, there, there one white lady did. Like, like, yeah, lady. His letter. Oh, yes, Carolyn <laughs> Bryant Dunham, the yeah. one who confessed that Emmett Till. Yeah. Yeah. She was like, my bad. You see how I know exactly what you're talking about? Come on, man. She was a devil, too. Devil. 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 Not an enemy of people killed, but right. Not an enemy of she was an employee of. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, right. Jesus. <laughs> Brother. Y'all crazy for that. And I want to, you know what? Look up his name really quick. The agent that because I want this to be on record so we all know his name. Somebody look it up really quick. Uh, Democracy Now is the interview. Um, Eliasa Shabazz and the rest of his daughters were there. This was in New York, and they did a press conference and brought this out. And when it went into detail, no. The reason why the door did not have security is because the agent who was supposedly an FOI in the Nation of Islam, he was an agent of the United States government. He made sure that no security was at that door. Now, if, you, if any of y'all been to the mosque, Nation uh, of Islam mosque, no plan. what do you know is going to be at that door? Security, right behind. Security. Right behind. Yeah, right behind. <laughs> you see, why? Is that a paranoid situation? Is that something that people do when they're just afraid? Or is that something that people do when they are intelligent and mm. they are aware of the environment they're in? Right. Mm. You were talking about the 1950s and 60s, and you out there blatantly calling the white man the devil to his face. And you telling me you don't need security? Man, man, man. He had people around him that set it up, so he told them not to have security at the door. The person who gave him mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, Eugene Roberts, undercover agent. You're not supposed to give a person mouth-to-mouth -mouth when they have blood coming up into their lungs. lungs. Those kind of wounds because it pushes blood faster into Ray the Wood. lungs. Raymond Wood, Shit. thank you. Ray Wood, Raymond Wood, everyone right now, pause the video, look up Raymond Wood. It will blow your mind. Democracy Now! interview, you will see. Nation of Islam didn't kill him. It was the FBI, the New York Police Department, specifically these two, and even when it came to that brother, they dropped him off. Right after the whole commotion, they took him, but the agent who made sure the security wasn't at the door, they went and dropped him off and they said, if you utter a word of this, you will visit and fall under the same fate as Malcolm X. They told him, shut your mouth. Don't say nothing. Pardon me, they brought him to the police station first for a couple hours so that they could finish what they did. And then they brought him home and they told him, if you confess this, you say anything to anybody, you will have the same fate. So no, anybody who's saying, Nation of Islam killed Malcolm X, be very mindful of how you're talking. Number one, it is 2022. When we get real basic, Malcolm X has transitioned over 40 years ago. Yeah. I wasn't even born. Right. So when you say things like that to me and the young brothers and the little sisters and the children, we all kill Malcolm X. Right. Mm. Listen to how you talk. The nation, the na the nation. Listen, yeah, you didn't know that. No, brother, listen. You a white man's nigga on remote control. You just keep saying it, keep saying. It. You don't even think. You don't even listen to yourself. You know why you say that? Because the group that you should be aligned with, that is your security, 
is the one that he don't want you to be around. Mm. He don't want you to be around the people that's going to protect you. That's why he can't run up in the mosque. That's why he can't just run up on us because we're not nonviolent. To this day, you run up on a brother with one of these bow ties on, you're going to get the business. So they don't want nobody around us. Mm -hmm. No, why? Because we are going to inspire you to really stand up for yourself. Like mm -hmm. Malcolm was inspiring the people. Like his teacher taught him, the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And like his, Malcolm was the mentor to the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Just so you know. Like, so, so again, no, all of that was exposed. So long story short, brother, because that's a whole lot of- Well, I think it's the same people killed Dr. King. I, thought, I think it's all the same. You know what I'm saying? It's like, brother, it's connected. Come on, man. Tennessee Mafia, Tennessee Ku Klux Klan, Tennessee Police Department, U.S. Army Green Berets. All four of them were a part of the assassination on Dr. King. All four of them were a part of that assassination. Dr. King was assassinated for a very specific reason, which was he encouraged the people to boycott Wonder mm -hmm. Bread, Coca-Cola, Seal Test. He encouraged the people to pull money. the money <coughs> away from these corporations. Yep. He encouraged us to literally cripple America. Yep. And they said, this Negro has to go, and what put the cherry on top was him speaking out against the war in Vietnam, mm -hmm. and him also saying on an NBC interview that is now, it's a color interview, and he said, I must confess that that dream that I once right. had that day has in many ways turned into a nightmare. Mm -hmm. Why aren't you talking about that, Martin? Martin. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And he met with the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. They don't want to tell you that. So he was March, up. All that stuff. Brother, yeah. please. He became a revolutionary in the last two years of his life, and yeah. that is what they did not want the people to know. I spoke on the steps of uh, the Lincoln Memorial in front of over 30,000 people mm. in January, January 23rd of this year, wow. when we were speaking out against the shots and educating the masses about this. I spoke right from where Dr. King gave his great I Have a Dream speech. Yeah, my mom grew up on Auburn Avenue. Like, she used to be oh, in the house all the time and stuff. Like, my, he was cool with my granddad. My granddad was a pimp, so he was just, like, cool with all the street people. Just, I'm just telling you, he was outside. Just, just smoothly. Yeah, just, my granddad was a pimp. You know, you know, you know, you know, I'm just saying, he was outside. Like, 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 like you you're outside, outside you with everybody. everybody. You with the street people. You with yes, the, you with every community. So it's yes, like, you know, because in the Christian community, they kind of separate. Like, yes. they don't, it, ain't nobody, don't nobody want to come get dirty. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you this, man. I, I know so, a lot so, of churches that are now getting more involved because they, they start to recognize and see, you know, you, you're not being taken serious just saying pray all day. That don't work. Faith without works is dead, dead brothers, which means there's some action that needs to go behind that prayer. Mm -hmm. Jesus wasn't no punk, and he wasn't a white man. If he was such a peaceful person, why did he have an entourage of brothers around him that had weapons? Real Stop playing with me. Real right. Stop playing with me. Fisherman. You what? You what? what, you what? You, hey, hey now. Yeah. Wait a minute. We kill yeah. stuff for a living. So you want to be like Jesus for real? He was in there right. flipping over tables and people manipulating the money of the people. And he was taking it to the money changer. He was like, nah, what are you doing? He said, shut this nigga up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. in, in Stone him. Modern terminology. <laughs> yeah. That's modern oh, translation. That's, 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 that's how we heard it. <laughs> yeah. Brother, so no, no, brother. Anyone well, thank you, man. We appreciate you coming in, man. Nah, for you sure. Know, for sure. Being yourself. We probably get banned for this, but we got to do it. We got to do it in everything that you're doing. Yeah, for sure, man. Thank you. Reason this line. Reason this line. Yes, sir. Reason not Reza. So one more time, let them know where they can get the get the book. Yes, sir. What you got? RezaIslam.com. You can also find my updated social media platforms whenever I get them from RezaIslam.com. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can also get my book there, subscribe to the website, etc. And uh, yeah, man, just, you know. Yeah, y'all follow him on Peloton. And, uh, <laughs> Peloton! <laughs> he got banned on Peloton. <laughs> he got banned on Peloton, boy. What? He said I got banned on Peloton. <laughs> and make sure, to the nearly 1,000 people watching right now, make sure y'all follow our brothers. Oh, yeah, more than, more than culture. Yeah, yeah. C-U-L-T-R. Yeah. Appreciate it. More than culture, official, official follow the jacket. Officialblessedaf.com. Follow the jacket. Come on now. <laughs> follow the jacket. Bless the fearless, man. Bless the fortunate. That's what we doing over here. Bless the fortunate. Right? Thank you, brother. We appreciate it. For real, man. Bless the favorite. Yeah, whatever's in your mind. You know what I'm saying? Is it that time, bro? Hold on. I gotta, hold on, I gotta do, I gotta do my job. You know what I'm saying? Uh oh, comments. I gotta do my job. Culture comments. So, 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 are you, are you, uh, are you selling your bracelets, brother? Because you see, you see. Uh, you, know, you, know, uh, you know what? I do have these. It's called. It says educated, not vaccinated. Oh, come on, man. Now again, even if you did take it, yeah, I understand. Because they came at us from all different kind of angles. Yeah. All right? A lot of people what if you them. bought the card for work? <laughs> hey, man, do what you need to do, baby. Alleg allegedly. 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 Thank you. I'm say allegedly. 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 allegedly bought the card for work. People getting we need this money. Allegedly. Hollywood is crazy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they 
Thank you. Asking me. Right. <laughs> they call the girl for the shot. They call hey, the girl hey, for the hey, shot. Hey, oh, they the call the shot. Yeah, they well, we like, just yeah, doing what the employees of the CDC did. Come on, hey. man. Come on, man. Oh, y'all expect that, huh? Come on, man. That's what they did. The majority of those FDA, CDC, HHS did not take the shot. Yeah. And I'm talking about from those that I know who work there who. Tell me this yeah. information. Like, man, I'm not going to no. take that. I, I see no. how it was done. No, they wanted to detail. Do you know what's in this? No, yeah. I'm not taking it. So, putting that pig cartilage in my veins. Yeah. Ain't yeah. no telling what's in there. Mm-hmm. Ain't no telling what's in there. That's man, got some hot fries. <laughs> <laughs> some flaming hot dust. Talk about, man, this is going to hurt for the night. Yeah. You're going to wake up, you're going to be fine. Oh, like, you know, a little bro. bit of fentanyl in there. Oh, oh, so, all right. I got two, man. We There's a lot of comments. No, 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 these no, are no. from other episodes. Yes, uh, they go in the, in the YouTube comments, and they love to roast us, and it's pretty cool. Detrick <laughs> Jones, <laughs> Ronnie had on his, uh, you had on your military stuff that day. Yeah, they was uh, killing me. He said, <laughs> he said, Ronnie looked like he an ROTC instructor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we got to do drills and shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny as hell. That's what you were saying. That's hilarious. Ready to do these drills. Y'all ready for PT and the bitch? Shout out my man, Detrick Jones, man. Detrick. Good job, um, brother. We appreciate you. Y'all keep him coming. Oh, that's, that's it? Yeah, right, that's secret genius. Yeah, man. It's that time, brother. Next episode. Um, Shout out to the FOI in the back. Appreciate y'all, man. I feel safer than ever. Yeah, for yeah, real, man. Yeah, I mean, I always. They try to, they try to jump me in. They're like, do, do twenty push-ups. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> now, I told him to choke you. Told him to you. Did tell him to choke you. Had, had another <laughs> meeting with another black <laughs> man. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta look at his brother in his face. <laughs> that didn't go so well. <laughs> that meeting that baby well. holding the look at. That's because you ain't got him the whole suit. <laughs> no, because I had to, I had to, had to let him know. Like, you know, I'm about to speak to a very highly okay. decorated brother. He was like, Oh, I know, I know. Decorated. Highly decorated, because we know. all highly decorated, brother. You like you probably right get drafted in the kickball draft. <laughs> 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 we, got, we, got, we got more wristbands than Dr. Nah, Ish. The Alpharetta <laughs> Avalanches <laughs> select Remo Rod. All right, y'all. <laughs> all right, I'm back. So, Secret Genius. Nah, man, we we like to end the shows with a segment we call Secret Genius Life Coach. Yes, sir. Giving people some words of wisdom, get through the week. Yes, sir. Get to the next episode. Mm. I am Kamal Secret Genius. The words of the week are this. And I'm 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 bringing back one of my personal favorites. I talk I your shit. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's only appropriate. Time. You know what I'm saying? It's you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, This is what we're gonna do. Yeah. Yeah. Black, the color black mm-hmm. is actually the presence. Of all color. Come on, mm-hmm. talk your shit. That is what the definition of black is. Mm. In order to make the color black, you literally have to pour everything into mm. it and you come out black. Come on. The color white <laughs> is the absence of color. Teach. Mm. It is literally nothing. Mm-hmm. Void of color. It ain't, Void it's color. nothing. I say all that <laughs> to say. White people ain't shit. We gotta get a pick. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, brother. Here we gotta get a Let me close out the show too. More than culture is the brand. This is the more than culture show. Come on, the Secret Genius, Remo Rod, <laughs> Tyler Chronicles, Ronnie Jordan, special guest, Reza Islam. We out. Perfect. All right, we're going to do a quick drop. Quiet on set. He about to be on, y'all.